What's happening YouTube? It's your man, your brother, more motivation, back with another reaction video. So we got how women react to Arnold Schwarzenegger. So thank you for coming back to my channel. If you come for the first time, hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Three, two, one. crazy physique man for somebody that's six foot two he has good proportions for everything nowadays those that want to like have the same size as him do it wrong do it wrong they get the big old gut they're too big too vascular he just looks it's like perfect you know what I mean if he was made for bodybuilding <laughs> essentially I'm gonna turn down the music because uh, I don't want to hit get hit for copyright. So every now and then I'll pause the music. Don't let anybody tell you women love that butts. Any person on earth loves something that looks good. If you want to tell me being morally obese, being not at your best self is no more attractive, you're lying to yourself and somebody's lying to you. Know what I mean? Don't be fooled. Pay attention to what actions are happening, not what people say. I've heard that so many times. Yet, when you get in better shape, you're treated differently by both, by male and female, by both. So don't be too naive when you hear that. There's a reason why they say that. There's a reason why they say that. Yet, they will cheat on the dad bod with the guy that looks good. You, do, you, do, you, um, do you see that? Uh, do you see that dysfunction there? You say one thing, but do the opposite. So pay attention to actions. Don't let them tell you they like dad bods. Because I'm not saying all of them like a guy to be huge, but be careful what you listen to. Pay attention to what they do. Not what to say. And it's not just women. Men and women appreciate it. Men can respect it in some sort of way. And sometimes too, the respect can show up as hate. You know what I mean? I get a lot of it. A lot of it. I see a lot of people hating. Right? They wouldn't do that if I was like this. If I was obese. They wouldn't do that. Know what I mean? I see the reaction both between male and female. I see I see how they behave because of just having a good physique. It 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 changes a lot of perspectives. They treat it a lot differently. If you don't know that feeling, get to that point where you're in shape and see how people treat you differently. It's mind boggling actually. When I was like this, I remember to, to what I am now, the treatment is different. Trust me on that. Just commit to it for two to three years and see what happens as far as how people treat you on both sides. And, and it could be opportunities for you in business as well. Because with a certain amount of work to get to that point, you build certain qualities, discipline. You, you have heart. You can overcome hardship. Those are qualities that I require to be a good worker. So there's certain there's a certain respect you get with being in good shape. Not just how you look or what women how women react. Those are all bonuses.
And again, too, it doesn't mean that you're going to try to look like him. That's not the whole point of this reaction video. But to be the best version of you, and no matter what point that is, you're always striving to be better than that. They love it, man. They love it. Don't let them tell you anything. They love it. I know because I know. I see how they behave. <laughs> you have to experience it for yourself. You have to experience it for yourself. And I, I don't condone doing drugs together either. Because he did stuff. For me, I'm staying how I am. Okay? I'm, I'm almost at my genetic peak. And I'll probably be like that for the rest of my life. You know, at the maintaining stage. But you can do it naturally and look the best, look your best. Obviously, you're not going to look like somebody else. I'm never going to look like him, by the way. So that is not the point here. The point here is to use this as inspiration to go in a gym at least four days a week. There's no excuses for me and there's no excuses for you either. I work every day, I study every day, and I still make it to the gym every day. All right. I work 40 hours plus, meal prep, all that stuff, and I still go every day. So there's no excuse for you also. And plus, with that, I have content to do, and I have to do it. It doesn't matter how I feel. I do it. You know what I mean? My feelings don't matter. But this, yeah. And, and this, yeah. The results are, are great. But the results don't care about your feelings. Right? And that's something a lot of men especially need to hear. Right? When your baby cries in the morning at 3 o'clock, get your ass up. Get your ass up. It doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter. When the military calls you at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., you got to go here. You don't, you, don't, you don't complain. You get up and go. All right? Leave your feelings out the window. Along with your ego. All right? Self-improvement is for everyone. No matter how good I think I am now, I can still improve. And I strive to improve, and I'm not satisfied. <laughs> I can do that too. Maybe not as good. <laughs> yeah, he's six foot two, two hundred and thirty pounds. So I'm about two hundred and ten pounds. A five foot nine. So he's maybe it's more than two thirty, he's like two forty, two forty, two forty at six foot two. <laughs> you know, like I said before, don't let them tell you anything. They love it. They love it. They don't love too much. If you're any bigger than that, you'll be too much. They don't love too much. But they like it. Don't be fooled. They love it. They love it, man. I pay attention to what they do, not what they say. They love it. The, not huge, but a good physique. Not big, veiny, bulky with a big uh, um, gut with ass on it. No, they don't like that. Slim, athletic looking, a bit muscular. They like they like it, man. Don't don't let them fool you. Don't let the media fool you.
this is this is like the the counter to height a great physique and even more so even more so because because what does height and this signify protection protection masculinity assertiveness it, it it's it, it's like you, you gotta know why to say certain things they don't just say it to say it it, it, it means something deeper why money why height why strength why good physique it all means security that's all that's what it all means that's really it there security will i be protected that's the key there so it's not it's not what is said it's what it means right so it's when they say i like that box what does that mean i want him to be comfortable so that nobody else wants him so that it will be easier for me that's what that means Hilarious. <laughs> that was like good. That was really good. It wasn't too much. Like I think Ronnie Coleman and uh, Phil Heath and those other guys, it, it's too much. It's too much. You know what I mean? And obviously now, like the drugs that they use is a lot different than back then. That's also why. But that was like, it's almost it's almost to the bricks of too much, but it's, it, it looks decent. Now it's just too much. If you compare the bodybuilders now and then, yeah, you, you can tell the difference. You can tell. <laughs> they react like that man they react like that not just in the uh video what is going on here A great actor too he's a great he's a great actor too he was mortile uh he was mortile skilled i don't want to say talented because because uh he had to work very hard especially with the acting uh part Definitely made a large impact on bodybuilding as a whole, man. Definitely. Definitely. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to react to any of his, um, let's say, documentaries. Let me know down below if you would love to see that. Be on the lookout. I'll be in the lookout for that comment if anybody's interested.
But we're going to end the video there. Um, thank you so much for coming back. If you're coming for the first time, hit that subscribe button. But yeah, use this as inspiration to go out there and better yourself. There's no excuses for you and I. There's 68 hours in a week. We work and sleep 16 hours each day with eight left over. I guarantee you, if it's a Saturday or a Sunday, there's four hours between both days for you to put time and effort into the things that you call your goals. Okay, there's no excuse for anybody. The fact that you say you don't have time, there's unaccounted hours of your week you're not paying attention to. Right? You can use that time to work out, start a new job, or start a new thing in order to help your business or anything you're trying to do. There's no excuses. We all get 24 times 7. Why are some people more successful than others? Because some people are willing to make that sacrifice instead of sitting in front of Netflix all day or on Twitter all day, on Facebook all day, talking to women all day, right? We got to use your time wisely because we don't know how much time we have, right? And, and these, type of, these type of videos should inspire you to be better, right? It inspires me for sure. So I hope it inspires you. Too. I hope it inspires you as well. Okay. Thank you so much for coming back. Like always, get better every day, optimize yourself. I'll see you in the